All right, today we've got the FMS 7F7 Tiger Cat in the 1700 millimeter. So what I want to go over today, kind of go over the specs, uh, talk about kind of how I've set mine up for flight. I've got a couple flight videos. There's some issues with some of the connectors and gears. I'm going to go into a little bit more detail about some of that. Got some landings, good and bad, and uh, in the end, kind of do a summary. And hope you enjoy. If you like what I'm doing, again, you know, please, you know, click like, make a comment, maybe subscribe. Makes me feel good about doing these things. Take care. Okay, so with uh, my one eye situation, I have flown several different planes, but nothing big. Model Aviator. Adam said, fly your big stuff. It'll be even easier. So if this piles in, it's all Adam's fault. That's where that's what I'm going with. Okay. All right, we're gonna take off, have some fun. Nice thing about this plane is just how easy it flies. That's why I kind of picked this one. And truth be told, I like my Corsair better. So I want to protect that one a little bit. But this guy here, I'm flying at half throttle and she just might need a little, little trimming. Now for a public service announcement about the connectors on this plane. Okay, I want to point out one of the issues I had with this, and that was this system right here will have a connector multi-pin, and the wings just slide into the males, slide into the females, and everything works great. Well, mine was, you know, this plane's a little bit older, and there was some issues with it not working. It started failing. So basically what I end up doing is doing these MPX connectors. There was some soldering that had to be done, some shrink wrapping that had to be done, then kind of just reinforced it with uh, with a, just electrical tape. That the, That is a bit of a project, but without that, your plane's going to fail. Uh, you're going to lose something um, and be pretty unhappy. So that was one of the fixes I did. And just cruising for right now, just to play with it. <clears throat> Get my landings down with it. Nothing too crazy with her. Probably do go up and do my typical roll over and back under. A little split ass. So the setup is pretty simple. You know, it's a 5,000 milliamp 6S. Pretty stock on all the throws and a lot of expo. Yes, such a great cruiser. A little short on the end got me a little excited there for a second <laughs> nice easy flyby this is all pretty much half throttle to two-thirds throttle just to be easy here I'll do a full full throttle pass you know this plane you know it's just been a Easy plane to fly, frankly. There's full throttle. Straight up, roll over, split S, pull through, drop throttle a little, kick throttle back on. And that's pretty much gentle. All right. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come by and drop the gear in front of us. I got a little flap going, gonna hit gear. Here they come, hopefully. I'm gonna put full flap. I got about third throttle right here, so I'm dropping some elevation. Back to about 10% throttle, give it some elevator. Nice landing. 
Yeah. I I I almost got it. I almost hit a little early. <laughs> As I said before, you know, with uh, my eye surgery, I only have one eye, so depth perception is a little sketchy. This is on mid rates. Probably, and I said it before, I need to increase my rates, I think, for my ailerons. So it just flies a little bit as far as uh, rolls a little bit quicker. Well, Adam, I sure can see it easier. That's for darn sure. All right, I'm gonna drop gear, pull flap, pull back to about a half throttle one-third throttle bringing that throttle a little bit less elevator elevator little throttle those are the landings that n can mess up the landing gear so next I do want to show a little details about those and fixing it okay so on the FMS Tiger Cat these gears are phenomenal Kind of go through a little bit of detail on these gears best I can. As you see, the details are, are wonderful. I mean, you've got all this is aluminum. All these individual little pins all over, which I would highly recommend you putting a little foam tack on all those little uh, uh, C-rings uh, to hold things in place. You know, amazing detail, but there's some complexity with it. And what I mean by that is, if you hit hard on some of these, like I have on some of my landings, what happens is, when this opens and closes, it kind of flops down or flops open, and it doesn't lock. Right here, this should be completely locked straight like that. If it's not, then it's going to collapse on you as you roll out or land. I've had that, and then you get these scraped up parts here. So what you need to do is get inside this housing here. What I would probably do is pull that pin off right there so you don't have to take out this entire assembly here. And just unscrew this after you've, like I said, pull, pull one of these pins out or this one up here, just so you can get into this piece here. So you've got to remove these screws, all of this to take the servo out. Inside there, this shaft right here that connects runs into, there's a couple grub screws. Make sure that this is on the flats, you know, those grub screws are on the flats of that trunnion. It'll come undone eventually, and you're going to have to do this. And I've had to do this on both the mains as well as on the front. Same kind of scenario. So, great gears, super detailed, super awesome, great crowd pleaser, but there's a lot of work that goes in there. Oh, one more thing as I'm going through this. That little servo right there that controls these doors, they get loose right there. It's only put in through kind of just a foam on this uh, nacelle. And uh, I would I beefed all that up with and glued that servo in pretty well with foam tack. If you don't do that, eventually these start getting loose, especially if you have a bad landing and you're landing on these, it really puts a lot of pressure on that and you have some issues. All right, good luck. All right, gonna take this big beautiful bird out again. Hopefully uh, have some successful fun flying and landing. Oh, one thing I probably should do is cycle the gear and double check because sometimes doing, doing touch and goes, landing, these gears are sensitive as heck, and sometimes they just don't want to work well. Gear back down, 
And looks like she's good. Looks like she's good. Okay. <clears throat> Hopefully you guys saw that. Hopefully. Throttle active, no flap. She don't need it. This beauty is up. Just such a fun plane. Just cruises, super easy on the controls. I guess, yeah, you, know, you could make it crazy if you wanted. I think John at Two Brothers would try to hover the sucker. <laughs> Flat spin it. Well, I'm not that good at playing like that. I like more kind of just cruising scale. I have a little aerobatics. Full throttle, kick it back over, rotate it <clears throat> up for another Himmelman. Sun's just coming up. Got to mix in a little rudder on her, get her to track properly, which funny you know you just fly a different planes some planes require it some don't this one requires a little bit not much just a little coupling on that not a big deal throttle in that turn haven't completely tested the slow flight envelope on her I've flown her a fair amount but not like as much as I do some of my other toys it's just hard to bring she's a big plane takes some time to set up and uh, I will say that the gears are sensitive to landings and things will get out of whack kind of quick I'm gonna go through a little detail on some of that. I'm gonna drop the gear. <clears throat> Full flap. It's a little high for me. Right here, I'm gonna try to bring her down anyway. Give it a little more throttle. Elevator up. And she's down. I'll take that landing all day. To summarize, this has been just an outstanding airplane. I really enjoy flying it. I got a good deal on it at a swap meet. If you see one out there, grab them. They're back ordered forever. Wonderful, wonderful plane. If you have any questions, leave a comment. And again, you know, if you like what I'm doing, like, subscribe, all that stuff. I appreciate it. Have a great day.